Hey guys, Mark here. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to tie the mated snake knot paracord bracelet. This bracelet style has become quite popular lately, and it can be done in a variety of different colors. The three color version is especially appealing because it is not too wide, but it's not too narrow either. For the actual weaving process, I would recommend taking at least six, if not seven feet of paracord per color for your first try. I'm going to also be using a buckle for this project and I'm using a 5 8 of an inch one. With this set, let's get into it. So I have my three cords here and I'm going to insert them into the buckle. So just feed one end through and make sure that both ends are about the same length. Do the same with the other cords. I'm going to be using three different colors. So like this. That's all there is to do with the basic setup. And we're now going to start tying snake knots. So we're going to start with our right cord, which is the one under the buckle. And we're going to start by going over the left then back to the right side under everything so like this we're then going to take our left end go under the right end then over everything and into the loop on the left and with this we have tied the first snake knot We're now going to take the cords of the second color, take the right end, which again is under the buckle, go over the left end, then through the right loop of our first knot, and under everything. We're now going to take our left end, go under the right end, then over everything and into the loop on the left. With this we have tied our second snake knot and we're now going to move on to the third color. Again our right end will be going under the buckle and we're going to place it over the left end then through the loop of the second knot then under everything with our left end we're going to go under the right end then over everything and into the loop on the left. With this we have done three snake knots which basically constitute one row and now we tighten them. Once you have tightened up your first row it is time to add a second row which is done exactly the same way. We're going to start with our first color. Take your right end and go over the left end, then under everything towards the right. With your left cord, go under the right, then over everything, and into the loop on the left. We're now going to move on to the second color, again starting with our right cord. So the right goes over the left, 
then into the right loop of the first knot and under everything then the left chord goes under the right chord over everything and into the loop on the left with this we have tied our second snake knot we now move on to the third color going over the left chord with our right then through the right loop of the second knot and under everything with our left chord go under the right chord then over everything and into the loop on the left So we have now completed the second row and I think you should have your technique down by now. If you have any issues with tying these rows, simply rewatch the first part of this tutorial. We're now going to make as many rows as we need for our bracelet and then we're going to move on to finishing our bracelet. Once you have reached the sufficient length for your bracelet, it is time to finish it. The first thing we're going to do is tuck our ends through the other end of the buckle. Now the last cords will be a bit of a tight fit, so I'm going to do it off camera. And once you complete your tucking, you have your cords sticking out on the bottom. Now what I do is take one of the cords, attach a lacing needle onto it, and then tuck it through a couple of sections of snake knots. I would recommend tucking it under at least four and do this with all of your cords to complete the bracelet. Naturally, there are other ways of finishing this bracelet and it takes a bit of improvising, so just go with what you're comfortable with. So I've tucked all of my ends on the bottom and this secures the other end of the buckle. Now the problem with this technique though is that it does bulk up the end where the ends are tucked so it would make sense to gut the ends before you tuck them to reduce the bulkiness or you can use another method of finishing the bracelet. So guys, I hope that this tutorial was clear enough. I don't think this is a hard bracelet to tie but finishing it requires some work. With that said, thank you for joining me and enjoy your bracelet.